PowerPoint can be used to get information across in almost any business situation. Among the more important details for business slideshows is going from slide to slide, the so-called transitions. Adding a transition to a slide is easy. We can simply select the slide on the left in the thumbnails area, click the Transitions tab in the ribbon, and then select the one we want to use. For the first slide, we often fade in from black. It might also be helpful to look over on the right side of the ribbon tab and uh, see how long the transition is going to take, the duration control over here in the timing group. And we can uh, adjust that, give it to, say, one and a half seconds, and then see the result pretty easily by clicking the preview button over here on the extreme left of the ribbon tab. And the transition does indeed take about a second and a half. Now, another factor which can play into a good professional presentation is how many transitions we add. Ideally, we shouldn't use more than a few because the content is more important than the razzle-dazzle. So here's one way we can set up transitions quickly and consistently. We'll start by selecting all but the first slide. I can actually tap Control A on my keyboard and then Control click the first slide since we've already set that up. Then we want to find a transition we like. And we can look through the list up here in the Transitions tab. I have used the one called Cube pretty frequently. It's uh, not too dramatic or cartoonish, but it does show clearly that we're going to the next slide. So give it a click. And we now see that the little star that indicates we've got a transition on each of the slides shows up there. Then, and this is the slightly laborious part, we go from slide to slide, click each one individually, and set an option where they're available to make each transition just a little different. This first slide that we set the cube transition for, if I click Preview, rotates from the right. But I can click the next slide down and go to the Effect Options drop down over here toward the right hand side, give that a click, and specify I want to go from bottom so it rotates upward. If I then click the next slide down and go to the effect options again, go from left, click the next one and effect options again and go from top, we see that we're setting a pattern. If we glance at the effect options drop down again, right, bottom, left, and top, and this gives the slideshow a little variety, still keeps the visual gingerbread to a minimum. But using a fairly obvious transition is a way to make sure the audience can see the slideshow progressing. One other point to consider when one is doing a business presentation is how we want to advance from slide to slide, regardless of where we may start. If the show is going to go with no questions taken during the run, we can go up here to the timing group and we could turn on the check mark for advance slide after and then specify a number of seconds for any or all of the slides. But if we want better control, turning that feature off, that is not advancing automatically after X number of seconds, but only on mouse click, is actually a little safer because the slideshow can't advance without us telling it. There are a few other details we can look at to improve and refine a PowerPoint slideshow but keeping the transitions straightforward and consistent is high on the list.